Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I'm Flinger Foo, and today we're going to be going and going in the Shadow of the Mine, where we meet Sebastian by the Overlook. Uh, at least that's how we're going to start it. If we have time, we're going to do more. But yeah, that's just the way I've been doing these. And I'm actually kind of enjoying the system. Uh, it's one main quest. If we can fit in two, we will do them. So, let's see. Okay, we're going to have to teleport over to here. Upper Hogsfield, which I think I've already done all the quests over there in Upper Hogsfield. It was kind of cool. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yes, you say that a lot, actually. All right, let's get headed over here. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. You say that every time, Flinger. Oh, 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 oh. We need to sell You've off all Upper of our Hogsfield stuff. Safer. Yeah, and if we're going to go on more I adventures, we need to sell off all this junk. all the stuff that I, I do this quite often and sometimes you're really kind of strapped for cash in this game but a lot of times it's just like yeah sell Thank some more stuff do some more adventures and you got quite a bit of uh, cash again thank you Dude, I saw that. You're just walking around for background. Uh, yeah, all right, that guy, he's just an extra. And here we go. I thought my owl might pique your interest. Yeah? I came as soon as I could. I finally realized what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranlock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Let's see if we, we can need avoid to see detection what doing, first. But let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. Right? All right, but yeah, this After guy, you. he has a quest, uh, Sebastian. Here, let me show you. Where you can go and. You can learn. Crucio from him. Uh in this uh, meet Sebastian outside the Slytherin common room. That's one of those um, curses. I don't think I want to do that. So yeah. Because I know there's different endings that you can have and I want to try this without having a single one of the, uh, I guess they're called unforgivable curses or something like that, so. There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. Ravenia. The war is over. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Okay. Ranlock's loyalists are out for blood. Who's there? That one right there is facing me. There we go. Revenue. We'll reclaim what is rightfully ours. And they just kind of switch spots. Revenue. 
He's just walking over his dead buddy. Stealth in this game is a bit overpowered. Gotta get the loot. Petrificus Totalis. Later, dude. Revenue. All of Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. This guy is pretty dark. I'm just saying, Sebastian. This is going well. Ravelli, we make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through, or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Revelio. Oh, here we go. All right. I guess we can just sneak right through. Okay. I'm fine with that. That's also a good screenshot as well. Sorry. Forgot it did that every time I opened it up. Revelio. Oh. We must remain unseen. For better or for worse, we're in. Guys. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Can bring up. Oh, I see why. Let's get this. Revelio. I have a feeling there's gonna be big spiders in here. Stuffed up downstairs. Look at that. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to pray. Oh, yeah, there's definitely gonna be <laughs> silent as a grave. <laughs> How nice of you. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> They definitely think there's something here they want. 
Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. Spiders over here. Confringo. Rebellion. Take off you. Taking your loot. Rebellion. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Right. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar eyes, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Endearing qualities. Okay, we're Revenue. about to fight again. Yep. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. I'll see. Rebellion. All right, that's Reparo, right? Yeah. Reparo. There we go. Now we go through this way, right? Confringo! Oh. Hey, we chill out of the campfire. Alright. Cool. Uh, oh, okay, so we go up this way. Right, gotcha. Another one up here. Rebellion. Confringo! Let that burn for a sec while we take a look. Yep. Hello. Yes. Rebellion. Oh, whoa. Confringo. Confringo. Accio. Arrest the momentum. Confringo. Okay. We've read the world of another spider. I Rebellion. That's a slight. They were saying there were no dead. Oh, whoa. Oh, I was poisoned there for. Was I poisoned? It looked like I was. That was kooky. Confringo! Not lighting on fire. Well, we're making quick work of them. Right? Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Oh, oh. ow! Confringo! Rebellion! Confringo! Lots of devil snare.
stuff comes back fast. Lots of loot in here, though. That's not bad. Revelio. Still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Oh, uh, of course, and it's gonna pop us out of uh Yeah, here we go. Seems quiet. Seems quiet, you ask me. Revenue. How many of these guys we can get? You will regret. Oh yeah, that was good work. You have had a lucky shot. Get it, Ted. Oh, we can do that. Defender. Coming back this way. cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. For a Ravenclaw, you certainly have a lot to learn. Okay. Confringo! I burn that up. Revelio. Right, let's get this loot really quick. Confringo! Uh, and then we have to do symbol. this above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Revelio. Confringo. Okay. So. 
Couldn't bring them. Alright, yeah, burn that up. Okay, so. Wasn't expecting that. There we go. Alright, yeah. And of course, the, it has to do its weird thing at us before we leave. Revelio. World floated back to me as if a watery haze. How long have I been unconscious? I only remember his eyes empty, empty of sorrow, yes, but also I recall feeling at least he is no longer in pain. Oh, not black death. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Right? Still, something about this place feels odd. Okay. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She right. seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft. Why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. Okay. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Oh, he's Unless... going straight from here to the Undercroft. Oh, that's easy. I like getting all the screenshots. Now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. All right, let's see. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. Okay. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Lovely. All right. I know that coast. Tell me what Ranrock you know. has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. Yeah, I do, but, let's but not, not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Oh, God. Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. Yeah, whatever, dude. Because one person is bad, don't mean you hold it against the entire group. No way. All right. How do I get out of here? Revelio. I hope Professor Fit. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Ah, nice. Come by spin witches as soon as you can. All right, we gotta go to the map chamber. I'm out of here later, Sebastian. I ain't having any of that. All right, heading down to the map chamber. I see that one a lot. So cool. Welcome back. I'm back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. 
Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. Ooh, ready it's for the Hogwarts. next trial? As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. Okay. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. All right. All right. But yeah, this one's a little bit uh, shorter, but then again, if I add the next quest in, I have a feeling it's going to be like a 50 to an hour minute episode. So, hey, I'm just going to end this one here and we'll uh, pick up with the next one. And so, yeah. Sorry, I had to hiccup. All right. Uh, so, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody. All right, figured I'd add this on to the end of that one. <sighs> Talking to Poppy about what happened to the baby dragon. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. Okay. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Uh, I... Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Right. All right, well, let's go uh, find out. Here we are. That was quick. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. Okay. This is only... Yeah, simple enough, right? That sounds right? straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Okay. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. Yeah. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. Right. I'm ready when you are. I'm ready. Yes. Yeah, I hear her. Um, there she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. <laughs> Take these, thanks. <laughs> Hello. The whole thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. Right. I'm worried sick, wondering what's gonna what? happen to me. I mean, this is kind of cool, though. I mean, full clinch mode. For what it's is worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Right? Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done with the game. How many they brought to capture? 
Charming. They keep in touch with each other. Right. There she is again. She's Wendy. From a distance. Fantastic. This is actually kind of cool. Sneaking up on a dragon without the intention of, uh, of walking away with his head. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. Ah. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Right? I don't want to be considered a sheep. Watch your step. Pity. She must have been so Revenio. Or just raring for a fight. Cool spot, though. What was that? Oh, and it reveals me, really? I don't want to have to fight a dragon. here watch out it's her domain she'll make sure keep at it we've just got to make it to the next hi much but warm welcome it's a little too warm if you ask me I don't suppose she listened to reason wait wait she was just behind we me try but we're well past that get to that opening below her Okay, so healing potions are absolutely yeah, good. Brilliant. There's the nest. We're almost there. Okay, just keep going around. Yeah, I guess I don't need that right now. Why is every bridge here broken? Right? Repair it. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. There you go. Gonna take that hand. Okay. Yeah, some just may have come out. I'm just saying. That was brilliant. 
And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Yes, please. Okay. Shall we head back? I'm yeah, ready if go. you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring <laughs> and steal a dragon egg from them. True. Just True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Okay, I have a feeling we're going to have to go rescue her grandma. Eh. Dang poachers. How could I have been so blind? Right? Alright, so there's that side quest. All right, moving on up. All right, so hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.